It's 2021 question six. It was asking about a family discount and a large group discount program, a little algorithm. And how could this be unfair? The best approach when looking at these kind of programs is always turn it up to 11. Set one extreme to high, one extreme to low, and inevitably some sort of discrepancy discrepancy will pop out it's it's it, i would say it's a great rule of understanding not just this but even physics is think about how a system works is just look at the extremes and it's a great way to illustrate the madness you know because the edge cases are what really paint a broken system um so look at this one for example um uh i was just messing around with this here i put in like fifty thousand people fifty thousand people used to live here and one child but that's a family discount i mean that's clearly supposed to be a a, a large group is fifty thousand people um yeah so there's a there's a few possibilities of things you could do here the most important thing for getting marks is to show that you've worked through the algorithm give an example data so say i put in 200 for children one for thing and this is what I got. This is unfair because blah, blah, blah. But you have to show that you've actually given a result. Don't just say, I think it's unfair in kids. You're like, that's, <laughs> you have to show that you've done the, gone through the algorithm. Okay. So, um, very similar to like the trace table or the, the sample testing table. You need to show that you, you have done a test. This is the results of the test. And then you get to comment and say, here's why I think that's unfair. Looking at the data I've put through, for example. Okay. So let's say I put in um, one adult and one, one, two, three, four, five, six million children. No discount. Ah, here. That's not a large group. <laughs> one million children. Okay. So now I can say, for example, one eligible children, this is unfair because, you know, and I can refer back to my data. So it's just important that when you're um, ask, answering a question like that, you, you refer to your own testing data. Lovely. So there's lots of things you could write here. Um, let's look at what some of the things they, they talked about in the marking scheme. So should be allowed for situations where, yeah, also it assumes that there's always... Um, yeah, I mean, if I was to bring the two kids to the to the zoo, I would I would expect a family discount. It's like, sorry, you left your wife at home or your partner at home, and now you get nothing. Now you just have to. I mean, like they should get an extra discount, um, if there's only one parent because that parent is heroic. Um, you can have any number of children traveling, only a single adult and get no discount. That's what we did with the gazillion children. Um, there's also the order of things. This is interesting. If num okay, if the number of adults is greater or equal to ten, blah 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 blah, the discount is family, and that's because of the way an if else statement works. Um, so, you know, it, this one here is okay because it's it's using the and one, right? This bit here, but um, if line six is true, as in the number of adults is bigger than ten. It will, um, it'll end up down, let's say if I print here, hi, um, it'll, it'll end up down here and it'll skip over this check and it'll skip over any check after that because once an if LF else statement, once it gets a hit, as in once the thing is true, so it'll go yes, no, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. Okay, great. And then it's done. It exits this entire um, block, all right? If you want to actually check each one, and maybe uh, how would, like if you say, if you do it like this, with just all ifs, um, that would actually give you multiple discounts, you know? So um, let's say uh, number of adults 10, number of children 10, I can choose now between family, large or small discount and it gets to high at the end. Okay. Um, whereas before, you know, you can see it, it would only have gone and given me one of them. Okay. So that might be a way to um, improve the algorithm. So I think maybe a future question could be, you know, rewrite this algorithm 
uh, and and changing elif to so changing if elif 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 else you know lots of elifs else if um, changing that to some ifs might be a way of making uh, a question like this more or an algorithm more fair because they could choose. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Any valid scenario, and yeah, uh, but I definitely play around with that kind of the difference between if, 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 and like why do we bother with this else if, else if. Um, so again, I'll just tell you the <laughs> the answer is if it's if lf lf the second it gets a hit, it exits this entire block. But if they're all ifs. It will go through one, then the other, then the other, and you can get multiple um, true outcomes. So it'll print this, and it'll print this, or my print, you know. So okay, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that. That's the answer for that one.